During a meeting of leaders of the Ergon region, Minister for Disaster Preparedness Hilary Oneik gave an update on the progress of the resettlement plan for the Bududa landslide victims. According to Oneik, the plan is to construct 300 homes for the resettled families. Police are making bricks. The bricks are now almost uh, sizable number. They promise within 40 days to make all the bricks to build 100 houses. Police is going to build 25 of the 100 houses and the army is going to build 76 of the remaining. Over 10 billion shillings is said to have been released to facilitate the construction of 300 houses and some of the money is said to have been used for mobilization and moving machines. This 10 billion also went to clear the site for the logistics, move the equipment there, move people and so on. All those costs, when you now divide with the number of houses, come to that figure, 31 approximately, the cost. However, some leaders from the region are opposed to the move, demanding that government should compensate the victims directly, as it's done with the UNRWA projects. The Swamp area and the uh, Prime Minister's office, they told us they bought the land and what they paid whoever was in the land, what we have seen, it's not the truth. People here should first wait. Much as we realize, we know the dilemma in which they are in. But if they have to be appropriately settled, it is important that they hold on a bit. I am convinced that whoever took the money here, whoever received the money, whoever paid, whoever signed and recommended that this money be paid, should be investigated. Right now we are talking about encumbrances. Some people are saying there are no encumbrances. Come out to Kiriari and say that this land is free of encumbrances. MPs Justin Kaiser, Debduda woman MP Wambede Gashom, the MP for Bungoho North, Grace Wantua, woman MP for Namisindwa, and Rose Mutonyi, MP for Bobulo, are demanding that government should compensate people because construction of houses will take long. The MPs also argue that the land on which they want to relocate the victims has conflicts as the owners are still demanding for payment. No land titles for our people, how do you guarantee their security on that land? OPM is overreacting on sentiments of opposition to the land in Vlambuli. Yet those sentiments are eye-openers. They are simply eye-openers. They are trying to, uh, to probe you answer some questions that must be answered. We should not blind ourselves. The woman MP for Bududa, Justin Kaiser, turned rowdy to the members and had a heated exchange with some who did not want to discuss on the challenges on the Blambli land. Because there are also there are issues. Because there are issues, you people. If we politicize things and we don't talk about the evil in this country, we are not going to change things. You are looking no, for cameras here. I'm not that looking for any camera. By the way, I'm not a camera person. I only am speaking for the people who would do that. Yeah? No, if there are issues, yes, we have to speak about them. Onek has warned that nobody, not even Parliament, is going to stop the process and he will not entertain the idea of compensating people. There is nobody, not even parliament, will stop us. I'm saying this because, as I said, the least common denominator for me is human life. They get the money, they may still linger around and go back, <laughs> go back on the hill. That is that is a major fear we have. Madam, you didn't want to say something.